recognized as one of the best-selling recording artists in history, Whitney Houston was a singer and actress who greatly impacted the music industry. Her tragic death in 2012 left the world reeling, but she continued to shine bright as a legendary music star. Whitney Elizabeth Houston was born in Newark, New Jersey on August 9th, 1963. Growing up in a musical family, it seemed inevitable that she would become passionate about music. Her mother was a gospel singer, her elder brother a songwriter, while her half-brother was also a singer. Houston was the cousin of sisters Dion and Dee Dee Warwick, who both had careers as singers too. Besides this, her own godmother was the famous gospel and soul singer Aretha Franklin. Music surrounded her childhood and her debut performance began at 11 years old when she performed at her church as a gospel singer. Her mother, as a professional singer, taught Houston how to sing and would often take her on tours, occasionally letting Houston join her on stage. Because of this, Houston was heavily influenced by artists such as Shaga Khan, Gladys Knight and Roberta Flack, where at 15 years old she even had the opportunity to sing backing vocals for Shaga Khan. Whilst she was still a teenager, she was discovered by a photographer, which led to the beginning of a potential career in modeling. This made her one of the first African-American women to appear on the cover of Seventeen magazine. By the time she was 19, however, she was approached by Arista Records and immediately signed a record deal with the label. While Houston was primarily a pop singer, her upbringing had influenced her music, incorporating elements of R&B, soul, gospel and dance into her songs. The range of her vocals offered her opportunities in multiple genres with a striking and distinctive delivery. She achieved success with different song styles too, like fast-paced contemporary pop hits to emotional love songs and ballads. Her voice was perfect for this. She had an exceptional tone and stamina, allowing her to belt out powerful notes with ease. Her range was incredibly impressive, spanning over 4.5 octaves, switching between alto to high soprano with a natural ability. And although her voice was dark, it was also full of warmth, which appealed to many. She could control the softness and delicateness of her ballads while creating drama and power when appropriate. Her astounding voice was the accelerator behind her career. At 22 years old, she released her debut album, Whitney Houston, becoming virtually an overnight sensation. Throughout 1985, her album would climb to the top of the charts with her singles Saving All My Love For You and How Will I Know. The album stayed in the Billboard 200 for 14 weeks and at this time she made history as the best-selling debut album by a solo artist, selling 22 million copies worldwide. This led to her first Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal by a female. The video for How Will I Know was Houston's initial introduction to MTV's audience and she became the first African-American woman to receive regular plays on MTV with her music. She then won MTV Beauty Music Award and earned seven American Music Awards between 1986 and 1987. Her breakthrough into the music industry is often referred to as a musical milestone, creating limitless opportunities for African-American women to follow in her footsteps. The groundbreaking success of her debut album meant that a second album was highly anticipated. Whitney was released in the summer of 1987, and although some critics felt that her sound had not yet developed further, she still received impressive commercial success. The album went platinum multiple times and she earned her second Grammy Award. Once again, she won Best Female Pop Vocal Performance for I Wanna Dance With Somebody. Celebrating the release of her second triumphant album, she went on a world tour named The Moment of Truth, which became one of the 10 highest grossing concerts in 1987, and at this point had earned herself the status of highest earning African-American woman a momentous achievement for a black female in the music industry. Houston's stage performances were an important spectacle. Often her vocal performances were described as better live, more so than her studio recordings, because of the sheer power and vocal acrobatics that she achieved on stage. 
In 1991, she sang the U.S. National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, for the Super Bowl. And although the performance is said to have been pre-recorded, a video and single was released, which reached the top 20 in the U.S. Hot 100. And Houston donated her share to the American Red Cross Gulf Crisis Fund. Unfortunately, although her life in music was a dream come true, behind the scenes, her private life took a wrong turn. Marrying R&B singer Bobby Brown, they both became caught up in drugs and Houston had made suggestions of emotional and physical violence from Brown. Regardless of her troubles in her personal life, she continued to progress in her career and made time to pursue acting. In 1992, she featured in the popular film The Bodyguard. Alongside her acting, she released singles for each film, which once again gained tremendous success. The record sales of the soundtrack skyrocketed, especially her version of Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You, which became Houston's biggest ever hit. It stayed in the charts for 14 weeks and was deemed an iconic performance. The soundtrack album won Houston another three Grammys, including Record of the Year for I Will Always Love You. Another successful world tour followed this. In 1994, she performed three concerts in South Africa in honor of President Nelson Mandela, singing to 200,000 people. A remarkable occasion, as she was the first major musician to visit South Africa after it had just become a unified and apartheid-free nation. Houston continued writing soundtracks for films until 1998, where she released My Love Is Your Love, a non-soundtrack album, which was awarded another Grammy for It's Not Right, But It's Okay. Over the coming years, she would battle with drug abuse, poor health and personal problems that painted her in a bad light to the media. Her troubled behavior was captured on reality TV show Being Bobby Brown, and to try and save her career, she released Just Whitney, but failed to reach the success of her previous albums. Before her tragic death in 2012, she made efforts to reevaluate her life and end her drug habit and released I Look To You, an album that received a much better welcome and she was back at the top of the charts once again. Houston had further plans in place for upcoming projects, but her life was sadly taken when she accidentally drowned. Even more devastatingly, her daughter died in the same way a few years later. In total, Whitney Houston won a staggering 415 awards throughout her career and was titled as the best-selling artist of all time, selling over 200 million records worldwide. She's still highly regarded as an icon and a legend for her astonishing vocals and her powerful influence on the music industry. You can check out the Carly of Spotify to listen to the original tracks of the artist. It's a curated playlist with the most popular songs.